Hi everyone, welcome back to Kiwi's Collectibles. I'm Pam and today I have a compilation video for you. Yes, I've been doing a lot of shopping and I have so much footage and I wanna share all that with you but I can't do it all in one video, so I am taking the highlights from three different Goodwills, bringing them all together for you and for the next few videos. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's get shopping together. These brass goblets caught my eye. They were quite beautiful at $3.95 each. If you purchased all five of them, that would run you about $20. Then I noticed this small milk glass compote. They don't sell very well in my booth, maybe for $5 to $8. We always have broken items at Goodwill, which is quite a shame. And then I noticed these Better Homes and Gardens candle holders, which you could find at Walmart. I like that mercury glass style candle holder. And then we have this Hershey's tin. I'm not quite sure of the date. Tins do not sell well for me in my booth, so I left this one behind. And I saw two more brass goblets. I like the swirl pattern on this one. $3.95 again for each of these. And they were so filthy, but I'm sure they would be gorgeous once cleaned up. If you are looking for any type of brass, you can find it at Goodwill. Every time I go into Goodwill, I find brass candlesticks or brass planters. So definitely give Goodwill a try if you're looking for brass to decorate your home. My friend Amy at Yoso Boho, she found one of these beautiful burl walnut salad bowls not too long ago in one of her videos and I could not believe it when I found one today. It is the same salad bowl she found. This one is a little worn for the wear. It has some sticky areas and I think it could come back to its beautiful glory with a little muscle. Make sure you visit Amy at Yoso Boho. Her channel is really fun and informative. She shops, she shows you what she purchases, and then she gives you some information about it and how much she can sell it for on eBay. So go ahead and check out her channel. On this shelf, there were a few blue bottles that I thought were very pretty. This one, is more of a vintage piece, but it doesn't have a high resale value. In the toy section, I found this gourd. It had been hand painted and fashioned with some legs. I'm not sure the history behind this piece, but I thought it was quite beautiful and nicely made. I thought this little dish was rather cute. I don't know what it's for or how it's to be used. I'm just thinking maybe it is a trinket dish. If you know, please let me know down below in the comments. And take a look at this sweet little music box. I love the little mouse taking a quick little nap underneath the mushroom. So cute. And I really liked the look of this planter. I loved the basket weave. 
and it was in great condition. I thought it was just a unique looking planter. I saw these hummingbird prints and I immediately grabbed them. I love the coloring. I love the pinks and greens together. It really says springtime to me. Love, love the hummingbirds. And then check out this lemon picture. This looks to be cross stitch. Look at all the work that was put into this one. This picture was completed back in October of 1983 and still looks fantastic today. Next, I found this Hoosier glass. Unfortunately, I did not get a prize for this, but I thought it was such a neat piece. I loved how the glass was ribbed and just the shape of the bowl. Check out this mug. I'm always finding mugs at Goodwill, always. But this one was such a fun mug for only 99 cents. This teapot is perfect for any cat collectors out there, but the little kitten on top was a little bit wobbly, had a chip on its ear, and I didn't turn the teapot over to see if it had a price. And then I saw Bombay and Company napkin rings. Look at these beauties. This package had not been opened and I loved the colors. Blue and white is so in right now. And around the corner, I did find two Bombay and Company saucers. I wish I would have been able to find the teacups. That would have made a beautiful set. This mug reminded me of the Spirograph art. I loved the coloring, I loved the design, and this cup was part of the Saturday collection by Kate Spade. Don't you love a good junk box? Well, when I find a good junk box at Goodwill, I try to get my hand in there. Obviously, I was not the first to do this. And I was just looking to see what was in the box. Would it be worth the purchase? There were lots of cute little things, some little piggies, some animals, little trinket boxes. Lots of fun stuff to dig around. Then I saw these snow babies. These babies are from the Starlight Games collection. This first snow baby is ski jumping and he has a very bad chip on the bottom. The second one is such a cute little snowboarder. I think he's called In the Groove. And then the last one is riding a scooter. They were all $3.99 and I just thought they were adorable. I saw this fabulous summery teapot. It had damage on the handle and it was missing the lid. This teapot was made by Fitz and Floyd and I was so sad to see that I wasn't going to be able to bring this one home. And you would not believe what I found again. Another one of these metal peacocks. 
This one seemed to be a little bit heavier than the last one that I found in the same Goodwill as a matter of fact. This peacock had been bent on its neck and I just didn't like the way it looked. So unfortunately I left this beauty behind. And this was a pretty cool red lantern. Just something different. And you're not going to believe the price of this ashtray. $4.99. I don't know what Goodwill is thinking. And I love this little Nesquik mug. Perfect price, 99 cents. The first thing that I would like to share with you is this Kate Spade mug. It's from her Saturday collection and I love the coloring. I love that it has the spirals and it reminds me of the spirograph that I used to have when I was a young girl. This is a fun and fantastic mug and I'm gonna place this one in my booth to sell. Next, I picked up the four Bombay napkin rings. These are beautiful napkin rings. Blue and white is really in right now, and I've placed these in my booth, and I'm hoping they will sell very soon. During my trip, I also found the Bombay and Company saucers. I wish I would have found the teacups to match, but I went ahead and purchased the saucers. I thought they were very beautiful and I'm going to display them in my booth to sell along with the napkin rings. Next, in the toy section, I found this amazing hand-painted gourd. It is fashioned with two sticks at the bottom as legs and the painting is exquisite. It is quite a beautiful piece, and I'm going to be keeping this, and I'm going to display this in my home. Then I found this fantastic burl wood bowl. I am so excited because I saw it on Yoso Boho, and my friend Amy passed this up in her video, and of course, this is so my style. And when I found one, I couldn't believe it. So make sure you check out Amy at Yoso Boho. This bowl is going to be mine. I'm keeping this. And my husband is going to do a little bit of work on it. It has some places that needs repair, so hopefully it'll be displayed in my home very soon. I found three beautiful snow babies on this trip, but I only purchased two. These snow babies are part of the Starlight Games collection. I will be selling these in my booth next Christmas. I purchased the Wexford five-piece table server set. Normally I can find the creamer or the sugar dish in Goodwill, but I never see the butter dish. And I decided to purchase the whole set. It was immaculate in the box. I've placed this in my booth and I'm hoping because I have the whole set, it will be more desirable. Thank you everyone for shopping along with me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoy this type of content, please like my video and leave a comment below. I would really love if you would subscribe to my channel and become part of my YouTube family. Until next time, my friends, I will see you. Bye-bye.